Hello students, in today's video we are going to discuss about the last concept of this module that is management of technology. Management of technology means maintaining a system of technology that has compatibility with various aspects like cost, finance, suitability etc. It is neither the question of superior or inferior technology nor the question of costly or economical. The technology adopted must be suitable to business from all angles. Management of technology involves taking decision regarding installation of a system that is beneficial to the organization and contributes towards the wealth of organization. Every organization has to take decision regarding the type of technology it has to install. A decision making process in selection of appropriate technology or management of technology has the following elements. First one is financial evaluation of technology. The adoption of technology requires its financial evaluation that is its cost and benefit analysis firm has to incur huge expenditure on installation of technology the benefit or the income on that is expected to be received over a number of years future is uncertain that is receipts of income in future are risky as it is difficult to predict future happening over the period of time fashion may change products may change and technology may become outdated. Investment once made in the technology is irreversible. So before making investment, the firm has to consider all these aspects. Firm has to consider those technological proposals where degree of risk is within the control and income can be estimated. Okay, so using proper techniques of financial evaluation, the technological project has to be properly evaluated taking into consideration its cost, its cost and benefits and then the decision whether to install this technology or no has to be taken. Then the second step is to select appropriate technology. Technology to be selected must be appropriate to the business and its environment. That is, it must match the product specification. That is, whatever products the company is manufacturing so far, the technology should be suitable for the same. Next, firm must have adequate knowledge of its installation and maintenance. If not, the firm must have tie up with the manufacturers or agencies who can help in installation, maintenance and repairs. So once the technology is introduced, that means you cannot sit quiet. You have to also think about the maintenance, repairs and installation of technology. For example, if you are importing the technology from other countries and if you don't know how to operate the machine, how to maintain or repair the machine, then it will be very difficult for you. So initially only while you are adopting the new technology, a contract regarding installation, maintenance and repairs is to be made with the manufacturers or the agencies who can help the businessman to do so. And lastly, the workers must be adequately trained to handle the technology. Workers can be deputed on training to learn its operation, maintenance and repairs. Now technology cannot be used as it comes. Little training is to be given to the workers to work on machine, to understand what are the do's and don'ts with the machine. So third important thing is you need to have training session for your workers to help them understand how the machine can be used in an efficient manner without uh, any confusion or complications with the technology then the next step is to fulfill the legal formalities the technology must satisfy legal norms and restrictions of government firms should ensure that it can qualify the environment and pollution standards that are fixed by the government that is the new technology when it is brought into the country or when the new technology is developed and used in the country we have to make sure that it does not harm the environment and pollution standard that is fixed by the government 
okay that is very important next is if the technology is going to be imported then it should get import clearance it must satisfy exam policies norms and regulations of rpi the government has set up certain rules and regulations or certain bodies who monitor what can be imported and exported of the country so while you are importing new technology from other countries you have to make sure that uh, it meets all the requirements of the government then only the new technology can be brought from other countries to our country next is suitability to the market technology must be suitable to the existing marketing conditions if the technology is too advanced or sophisticated it is useless on the other hand if the technology is old and outdated it won't be competitive it must satisfy current trend and demand of the market now for example uh, see if the other countries are using latest technology or if you take example of very developed countries the usage of technology and machines over there is just too much but that does not suit the indian market because here people still are backward there are many people who are living in rural and village areas who are illiterate who are unskilled who don't know how to handle the new technology so you have to look at the current trend of your market what are the requirements of your market and then uh adopt the technology just because other developed countries are making lot of money out of that technology that doesn't mean that even you can import the same and start selling those goods and services you have to understand your market you have to understand your customers and accordingly the technology has to be suitable to the market if you bring too advanced technology in your country that also will not work out if you bring outdated technology the business will run into losses so you have to select an appropriate technology which is completely suitable to your market lastly future looking now technology must also be compatible with the likely changes in future the change in preferences taste fashion and technology itself must be considered before deciding to install particular technology it must not become immediately outdated technology must have durability and sustainability to recover the cost that is incurred on its installation the decision regarding installation of technology is not a rep- repetitive one this kind of decisions are not taken very frequently by an organization once the decision is taken it is difficult or impossible to alter the decision therefore need arises regarding technology management management of technology is in ensured by evaluation of the above set factors so it is very important to discuss all the factors with all the important members of an organization and then take a decision as to what technology will be implemented in the organization with this i finish my explanation for this module and i also finish your syllabus thank you very much